Hi, I'm Johnny McKee and I'm VP of Product Management and Customer Support at Amino. I'm going to introduce our um, Series 8 devices which we're just launching now, um, starting with the Kami 8R device. Um, and this marks a change for Amino in a number of ways. Um, one very significant one is what we're doing with RDK with this product, but also some of the other initiatives we're trying to incorporate in Series 8 um, to align with some quite important trends that we see in the, in the industry. So if you look at the trends, first of all, um, the one everybody talks about and we all know about is the desire for more apps, more OTT content um, integrated on a single device. Um, this is something we've been doing for years, um, but I think as technology has changed, as standards have developed, um, as the whole industry has become better at doing this, um, there are changes we can make to the platform um, that make that easier for our customers. So we want to move from bespoke integrations, which it was a few years ago, to something where an operator can um, choose to launch a premium OTT service, um, an integrated app, without any significant um, development. It's, it's a pre-integrated capability of our platform. That's the obvious trend that we all see in the market. Um, one other thing that we are taking very seriously as a company is sustainability. Um, on our environmental responsibility. So with Series 8, this seems like a great opportunity to build sustainability into the product from the start. Um, we'll be aiming to use um, much more recycled material in the product um, and also um, reduce our, our CO2 and carbon miles, etc. Um, and that's that's something which I see progressing over over quite some time. It's it's not going to be a, a single one fix um, launch and the job's done. Um, we're going to have to iterate and improve and develop as, as our knowledge of how to do this develops. Um, but we think it's a series eight is a great opportunity to, to make a big step forward in, in doing this. Um, and then supply chain management. Um, Everybody knows about the shortages in the um, in the industry at the minute, um, chipset lead times. Um, Amino have actually done a lot over recent years to give us more flexibility in our supply chain, minimize the number of different SKUs that we have, um, allow us to reuse components across multiple different products that helps us buy um, stock, um, switch production from one product to another much more easily. Um, but there's more we can do and, and one of the things that we wanted to do is, is um, use the software to help abstract our customers from the changes underneath in the hardware. Um, so it gives us more supply chain um, flexibility, the ability to change components much more easily um, and deal with some of the, the lead times and the, the supply issues that we see in the, um, in the industry today. So if we move on to hardware and just talk about the Kami 8R. So as I say, this is the first of our Series 8 devices. Um, there will be more to follow. Um, this is a high performance um, 4K device with HDR support. So we have HDR 10, 10 plus HLG. Um, it's an Amlogic based product using their 905X4 um, and one of the first products based on that chipset. And then this seemed like a good time to introduce Wi-Fi 6. Um, it has received some press and some um, limited product launches with Wi-Fi 6 have happened up to this point. Um, but we think this is the point where it really becomes mass market. Um, the gateways are available. Operators are starting to request um, Wi-Fi 6 features. Um, and so we decided to introduce that along with BLE 5 in, in this product. And then, obviously, as I've mentioned, um, there's ESG, environmental, social, and corporate governance. Um, this is a very important um, theme for Amino as a, as a company, and we want to take this through into our products um, and do everything we can to uh, really show leadership in, um, you know, in, in how we produce and, uh, and deliver the products to our customers. So, obviously, low power, um, standards have been around for years. Um, we'll do everything we can to reduce the overall power consumption of the product. Um, there, there's more things we can do in, in software and how we manage standby, for example, um, to, to reduce the um, power requirements of the products. Um, we plan to introduce 100% recycled plastics 
for the chassis. Now, the, the, doing that while maintaining quality is, is the challenge. Um, and we're looking at ways in which we can have traceability of those recycled materials right through the supply chain into our products um, and maintain the same quality that our customers expect from amino products. And then we will be trying to reduce the carbon miles um, for our products and aim to be a net zero company um, by 2025. So that's the hardware, um, a very short introduction, um, but I think when you look at that, there are some very major changes for us um, in, in how we view the hardware, what we view as being important in the hardware. One of the things that then gives us flexibility and allows us to achieve some of those aims is actually the software. So this is going to be our first product that will be running on RDK. Um, now, there's a number of things that we consider to be extremely important as a company. Um, we have to pay attention to what our existing customers have deployed. We have to make sure that our products allow them to migrate and port over onto um, the next generation Series 8, series eight devices. Um, we have a lot of value in Amino OS. Um, we've got um, pre-integrated components. We have a flexible, good set of APIs. Um, the, the product is recognized in the industry as something that's robust. Um, and we don't want to lose any of that. But we see a lot of benefits from RDK and what's happening now with RDK Video Accelerator. So Amino is going to be part of the Video Accelerator program um, run by RDK Central. That will allow us to more easily um, introduce premium app providers to the platform. Um, it gives our customers access to Lightning Framework um, and it also gives us um, wider SOC support. Um, so we think there's a lot of benefits in RDK VA, but this is about combining that with the capability of Amino OS and giving our existing customers a migration path while at the same time giving new customers the ability to benefit from Amino OS and all of the, the things that they're familiar with, with um, RDK4 and RDK VA. So if I look at that in a little bit more detail, um, this should be an easy migration. So what do you expect? Well, you expect reliability, a managed roadmap. So Amino will always have a managed roadmap for Amino OS. When we launch a product and our customer launches with Amino OS, that isn't the platform part. Every quarter we have a release of Amino OS. We add new features. We obviously put in the maintenance releases and bug fixes, um, but the, the system develops to support um, the, the features that our operators expect as it evolves. Um, it gives us longer lifespan for our hardware in the market, and I think our customers appreciate that. Um, we've got the pre-integrated ecosystem of partners and, of course, our management platform, Amino Engage, which significantly reduces the, the cost of deploying um, and eliminates a lot of the ACS integration costs that um, operators are saddled with on other platforms. And then RDK Video Accelerator adds to that, it gives us pre-integration with premium apps. So in the past, Amino would have integrated um, premium apps with Amino OS, with scaling partner agreements with some app providers, but there was still a lot of work to do. Um, with a video accelerator, pre-integration um, means that customers should be able to launch much more quickly. They need to have the commercial agreements with the app providers, um, but the technical um, challenges should be more or less eliminated. Um, the same thing goes with app stores. So there's obviously Metrological App Store with RDK um, being pre-integrated with that opens up all of the app store content that uh, Metrological offer. Um, an important thing with RDK is operators really have control. So they have control of the user interface, um, user experience. Um, they have complete control of the user data um, and they, they, unlike Android, they're not having to um, fit within a particular schedule that's dictated by a third party. Now, certification for RDK VA is certainly an important thing and it's something we are going to do, but the operator has a lot more control over when and how they deploy builds, um, what's certified, what they do with the user interface um, and their user's data. Uh, and I think that's a significant benefit of RDK. So we see um, advantages 
um, of RDK, we see um, benefits of Android as well. We think it, it depends on the operator and the priority, and I may want to be able to offer both. Um, and that's why we've gone down this route with RDK Video Accelerator. And then, of course, there's amino enhancements to RDK. So to ensure we've got the portability for our existing customers, all of the amino OS APIs and services um, are being integrated with RDK and brought over to the platform. That means a user interface designed to run on a 7 series device will run out of the box on the 8 series device. Um, and in the demo, we'll, we'll show you that shortly. Um, we're adding in the latest web standard support. Um, there'll be full metrological support with RDK4 and Lightning. We're integrating um, in a way that gives some uh, benefits to the usability of the platform. So for example, AB upgrades to improve the user experience um, through the upgrade process. We hope to introduce voice support um, sometime in 2022. Um, obviously security is important um, and this is an opportunity to relook at security and improve how we treat security in the platform. Um, and then the pre-integration of our Amino Engage management platform and analytics. So I believe that's a very comprehensive set of capabilities. It considers what our existing customers have um, deployed and how they are going to continue um, running Amino products and easily migrate to the platform. But it also offers a lot for new customers who are interested in RDK, who want to get access to app stores and um, high value content easily without huge integrations. So if I move on to a quick demo, this is our Cami8R device booting um, into RDK and immediately the UI comes up. Now, this user interface is um, developed by our sister company, 24i. Um, it has been deployed on six and seven series devices um, for quite some time, and we did not reintegrate it or do any significant work to make it um, run like this on the platform. As I said, we have brought over the Amino OS APIs and services. So a user interface that has been designed to run on an Amino product should just run on the Cam i 8R. And um, this is proof that that objective has been met. Um, we simply put this UI onto the, the device and it worked um, with almost no changes. Um, we tested this approach with a number of other um, user interfaces from other um, customer deployments integrated and developed by other um, UI developers, and we've had the same results. So I think this is a, a, a great success. This really shows that the Cam i 8R um, is easy to deploy for our new customers. And if you look at the performance, this um, chipset, so this is the Amigo, the um, Amlogic 905X4 um, uh, platform. So this is a 22K DMAP part, um, cutting edge SOC for set-top box, um, and extremely high performance, and um, you get uh, excellent user experience here. Um, this is running in a browser um, with the Amino OS APIs. So then if we move on um, and look at some of the premium apps. So this is a, um, a demo version of the Metrological App Store. There's only a very few apps in this. Uh, Metrological have a huge range, um, all of which you should run under the App Store using Lightning and RDK4. Um, but you see straight away, um, we can run um, this, this um, news site um, on the platform. Again, there was no customization, no integration required for the Cam I8R because we've used RDK4 um, with Lightning um, and because we're, we're testing with the Video Accelerator program to make sure that our platform meets the standards that an app developer expects, then there should be no issue in running um, the, the app store, all of these apps should run out of the box. We move on to YouTube. Now YouTube then is um, integration through Cobalt, so it's done in a different way from um, things like Metrological um, would be supported. However, again, because we're using Video Accelerator, a lot of the hard work has been done in advance. Um, the pre-integration is done, um, and Amino have a video as a scaling partner agreement with YouTube. Um, so it takes away a lot of the complexity and the challenges that our customers have in the past 
in deploying services such as um, such as YouTube and other premium apps, and we should be able to open up other um, apps through the Video Accelerator program. So that all of the premium apps that need to be pre-integrated are done, um, and then you've got a platform that allows you to add custom apps of other types um, for your own specific market using things like Lightning, browser, video, um, video tag in the browser. So finally, I've mentioned Engage um, a few times, um, and it's one of the things we like to showcase as well on our platforms because Engage is a management platform that allows you to do all of your um, device management but also includes customer support tools so if you look at the um, screen here we have a set up box um, running at the bottom of the screen behind that you can actually see a browser um, and in the browser the customer support engineer is seeing exactly what is happening on screen um, in the subscribers home on the set up box um, this is a great tool to help customers through um, problems they have using UI, um, solve problems that were maybe seen quite frequently. So for example, um, customers very often have settings incorrectly set on the device um, and the customer support engineer can easily take the subscriber through the settings, um, show them how to fix it. Um, they can even run a macro to rapidly fix um, issues that are seen every day on devices. Um, but it's very useful, it allows the customer support engineer to see what the subscriber is saying, to more quickly understand the issue, and also guide the subscriber through um, how to resolve that issue so they can fix it themselves in the next time. The customer support engineer also has these slide out panels on the right hand side of the screen. Um, these allow you to see both what TV is connected and the, um, the what is supported by that TV and also the key parameters on the setup box itself. So you can see if the if Wi-Fi is connected, if if um, if an HDMI cable is connected, for example. Um, so it allows the customer support engineer to very quickly diagnose what's happening on the device. So that is running live today on our Cam at R. Um, we are moving into mass production during Q4 um, and we'll be in customer labs um, throughout Q4 um, demonstrating the product making sure that um, we've ironed out any um, challenges we have when we first go into the network and ready to go into into deployment um, at the end of Q4 very early Q1 2022. So just to summarize um, this is the next generation hardware um, with Amino OS um, combined with RDK. We think this offers a huge amount to our customers and to, to new customers who have maybe never bought from Amino before. We're updating our hardware to give um, access to the latest technology standards, um, enabled of course by Amino OS. We're removing technical barriers um, to the adoption of the premium apps such as YouTube, Prime, Netflix, um, Disney Plus. Um, we're making sure it's simple for an operator to get an app store experience and at the same time we're looking to improve the supply chain management um, improve our environmental credentials and create a product that um, is, is suitable for the the next evolution of the market so i hope that's interesting um cam r is our first in the eight series there will be more to come during 2022 but we think this is a pretty exciting change um it it allows our existing customers to benefit from what we're doing while at the same time opens up amino products through rdk to a next generation of customers okay thank you very much that's everything i had for today